Did you? What were the difference? What things? What did you experience that? Yeah, I that, think that showed you. Wow! Now I am a professional. Yeah, mm, I think there's a lot of different when I moved to because in my life I've never seen snow before in my <laughs> life. <laughs> when I moved to Norway, it was in January, early January, which uh, by then in Norway is so cold. Yes. When I when I was putting then I was traveling with my with Nigeria pullover, <laughs> Nigeria pullover, which I saw everybody was putting on jackets. What is this? <laughs> So when I was like, when about to f and f drop from the flight, yes. and I said, wow, this is cold. I have to call my agent to call the, uh, the uh, organizer in the club. Yes. I said, would you come to pick me up? Can they come with the jacket, please? <laughs> so I, after I drove from the flight, waiting for my bag, then I have to put on the jacket because, I see, what are you doing? You want to get sick or what? I say, I don't know about this. This is my first time seeing snow or something. So, so it's so funny. I think my first year, it's difficult for me on the pitch. On snow before the before the game uh, before the training because we only have a breakfast before the training. Okay. When I arrive, we arrived to the stadium, the pitch was full of snow because we were playing on Astro Turf. So wow. easy to park immediately. Yeah. But it just take a time, maybe an hour or yeah. two hours. Then. So after I have to put on my shoe. I don't know. And then I was putting on like my two when I like when I put on my shoe, I like to like shoot to like my boot to tight me. Okay. I don't like space on my leg. Yeah. So on the pitch, when I just step in, like, what is this? Uh, 20 minutes after I can't feel my leg, I can't even pass the ball. Wow. I was like, wow, and I still have three years contract with this. <laughs> How will I do? I can't go back home, something. So I have to call my brother out. And one of my bro in the, in the neighbor, I neighbor who like yes. played in Russia, which is so okay, cold. In, even in Norway then? No, okay, I, neighborhood in Nigeria. Yeah, I am. In uh, neighborhood in Nigeria. What's I call him. And his name is Sylvester Iguon, Tata Maker. He was playing in Russia, so I said, "Bro, how do you cope playing in Russia? Because I heard the Russia code is even more, more, more than in Norway." He was laughing at me. Hey, I said, "Bro, this is a serious issue, bro. This is my career." He just said, "You have to get a shoe which is little space for you." And so, so I had the opportunity, and he asked me if I can get a bonnie like to put or something. So, and I tried it, which was good for me, and I keep going like that. So. Everything is different, like the, like traveling in, in Norway. If, if like um, uh, if you have a game and it's your opponent is far more than five hours, we, we never have we have to fly. Wow. So which is so, some different from um, African and Europe. So. Don't tell me how much you earn, but salary wise, Aqua United, I can start. <laughs> Was, was there a big difference? Yeah, a little big different, little big different, okay. uh, which is also good for me. Then I was young, I was 18 years you old. Really I was, didn't need money. Yeah, so I was just like, just focus, okay, where I'm going is more, most important for me. Then I don't even look at the money. Even the money was working for me, then I know I just have to do something with my family. Or I don't look at the money, or I just play, play, play. I know when the right time is, is going to come, which is coming now, but the league hopefully is very soon. So. so um in Norway, how did you cope with the food, the language, life generally? In, in terms of the food, yeah. where I was living, we have and where they told me like the main part where you can see African food is Oslo. Okay. Then I was living three hours wow. uh, three hours flight <laughs> to three Oslo. Flight. Yeah. To Oslo I was like what can I do? So um, I just met some black guys. Hey, to know if you don't know anywhere, you have to ask. You know, as a Nigeria guy, you know, you know, so I don't shy because I know it. This is what I'm looking for is gonna good for me because I was then eating a um, um, burger, which is not good for me. Then as a football, exactly, food, yeah. it's not good for me. Then I have to look for a way to find an African food. So, and I got an African shop. They okay. they told me where I can get out. I went there. And, I have to call my sister. How can how can I cook this? I cook because I never 
to cook life. anything in my life. Same like, here. yeah, so I yeah, so I go to YouTube, I cook. My first meal was shit. <laughs> so what is this? Well, I just have to wait to restart again till I got it. How to cook? I'm allowed to cook. Um, so I just have to. My first year was difficult for me. Then see, because you know, of course, it's gonna be difficult. But my second year, then I know, I know places I move and I got to where I find where I can get the right food, where I can make an order for food. So I think I would say it's not easy for me the first year, but well, it's okay. But now, can we say that you've really settled in Europe? The yeah. Of the European life. Are yeah, settled? I'm really set. I'm, I'm I'm settled, but just remain one thing. I want my family to be here. Then I'm fully settled. I'm, that would be the most beautiful thing, man. I can imagine. Let's talk about family. You got married. You know, it's, you are now a father. What has that done to you as a person? It's really changed my life because I have one brother, and I'm, which always tell me, Afiz, when you get the money, just try and settle down. When you're young, you don't wait. F- when you get billion or something, mm-hmm. it's good when you get the money, which can take care of your family just have to like your family of yourself just try to do it and i'm and i think about it i never like um, maybe throw away the words i keep it i keep it with me now still also going with my career then when the times came i said okay it's time now let me just do this and I, i did it and i never regret so i get married my life changed totally you know i know the kind of person i am before but now i think I'm occupied. I know no chance. Like I'm on a bondage now. Thinking about your family. Yeah, thinking What's about. Your wife's name? Her name is Joy. Joy yeah. Aremu. Joy Aremu. <laughs> Where did you meet her? How did you meet her? We met in Lagos because she's like a sister to Omeru wife. Like blood sister. No, like blood sister, but like um, I can say like you know what I mean, like. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, so we met together in Lagos when she, Where? when she came to and she came to visit and Omeru was wife. Okay. So we met we met in Ireland then. Oh, in the supermarket. It, it all started from there. Yeah, it all started and from like there. I see the rest is history. Yeah. Afis Aremu sounds Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. So you pray five times every day. Yeah, not only five times, but morning is very important to me, bro. Because I am a lazy guy. From when I was, from when I, my dad is still alive, you know, my dad when it's six o'clock, they know six o'clock. When um, when then you sleep in the ice, like when they when you are like enjoying the sleep, and my dad you just came to me with a cane, hey, let's go to mosque or something, you know, and try to send send me to Ileke to, yeah. you know, well, the football doesn't allow me, you know. So then I was trying, 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 but when I'm when I'm far away to my dad, then I stop. I don't know what came to me, but well, money it's, it's very, very important to me. Man. What do you do after training? What do you do in your free time? Yeah, in, in my this house. in my free time in this house, <laughs> it's it's too big for me alone to live here. But um, I don't have to do. I don't have to do. I can't. I don't. I can't do anything. Yeah. But, um, I just came back from training, locked myself in, watch football, Netflix, read some books. Then after, I take a walk and okay. feel the breeze, the fresh air. Yeah. It's, it's good for my head, you know. Locking myself in the room for for many hours, you know, it's not good for a football yeah. player. It's not good for my head. So that's a little thing. Fantastic. Mm. What is your favorite Nigerian music channel? Who is your favorite Nigerian musician? My favorite musician is Whiskey. Whiskey. I think I have a lot, but um, which I like most is whiskey. What was the last song you played on your on your playlist? The whiskey song. Was okay. Okay, you know what? Give me five songs on your playlist. Your five. Favorite. On my on my playlist of whiskey. No, no, your playlist general. Okay, my playlist general. Your five favorite songs right uh, now. Right now, uh, I think I have a uh, Zinoliski. Mm-hmm. I have a. Uh, Come my way with an okay, one day cool, one, one day cool, come my way, and I uh, have an uh, mood by when and yes. uh, uh, whiskey, yes. and I also have um, this time from a um, uh, Davido, uh, uh, where they come the para, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know the title, yeah, this song. yeah, and also last Bonner Boy, um. Uh, what's this name? Uh, I forget his name of this song. Uh, 
Bonaboy, right? Bonaboy, I forget the name of his like his, so his last uh, latest album. Ballon d'Or. Yeah, Ballon d'Or yeah, with uh, 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 whiskey. with whiskey, yeah. Fantastic. Hmm. Do you enjoy comedy skit on Instagram? It's a it's a moment where everybody is doing comedy skit. Yeah, I think um, I really have, you know, like also it's part of what I do, uh, what I do when I, um, when my free time, when I, after training, like go on Instagram, watch some funny movie, Mr. Mr. Funny, yeah, watch uh, Mr. Funny. or Bagbae Worldwide, you know, I don't know if you know the man, no, I ah, know very I, fun, I know Mr. Funny. yeah, very funny man, so I love like um, Nas Boy also and Sydney Tucker, yes. Sydney Tucker, fantastic, yeah. mm-hmm. final note. What's your dream for your career? What do you hope to achieve? My dream for my career is to win, win, win trophies as many as possible, which I, I hope for. Like yeah. I've, I've been dreaming for this before leaving Nigeria. When I'm in Norway, I dream for, I have dream for it, but it doesn't come. But I will never, I won't relent until I achieve it. Just to win trophies, like I said, play in one of the. And top tournament, which is Champions League, Europa League, yeah. Conference League, World Cup, World Cup, yeah. So, so. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. <laughs>